Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lottie and my mama too. And today we're going to be talking about toothbrushes. <laughs> so I recently splashed out a bit and bought the children their own electric toothbrushes. I recently got mine back in December for my Christmas present. And then I bought my husband his for his birthday. And I thought the only way we're going to get the whole family is to get the kids ones as well. So it took me a while to figure out which one that I actually wanted to buy, but we did go down the Oral-B route. I thought it was the best one for our money. It had excellent reviews and yeah, I, I just wanted them all to match. <laughs> so we've got a family of Oral-B toothbrushes in our house. I thought I'd go through the differences, the pros and cons that I like about them and see if it helps you at all in your decision making as well. So the two toothbrushes that I'm going to be talking about today are the Oral-B Junior. This is a 6 plus. It comes in purple and green. And the Frozen, of course, uh, Stages Power Brush. Um, this is for 3 years plus. It comes with a smaller head and it's decorated as Frozen, which obviously Ella is all for. And it also matches her toothpaste now. So let's start with this one first. The th reason that we went for this one and not a adult one was obviously the 6 plus miles is 7 years old and we thought the difference between this one and an adult one would be the head. Having bought it, it is the exact same head as Ash's toothbrush, my husband. So I'm not sure what child friendliness this has apart from the colour of it, the way you can grip it seems to be a better grip um, for children than our ones um, and maybe it has a more sensitive touch on their teeth um, but apart from that in my eyes I probably should have just bought Miles a adult one and had a look for a child's head maybe. Um, but yes, the great thing about the Oral-B range is that all of the heads are interchangeable, as the video is shown here. Um, I thought it was a brilliant idea that you can then carry on. So Ella could then use this handle uh, when she's out of this stage, and then Miles can go to a grown-up one. They also have the timers on, so they are totally independent now. I'm not standing there going... No, you've got to keep going, you have to keep going just a little bit more. They know now when is the perfect time to stop. I'm going to do a quick unboxing video here to show you what's inside everything. So here you go. only get one head per the toothbrushes especially for the price of it uh, they come in packs of four 
these style heads are the minimum I've found so far is £10, which will be fine for us because there's obviously three of us using this style head, so that'll be worth it. As for Ella's one, hers are pretty much the same price, if not just a little bit cheaper. Um, and yeah, we can't mix it around. No one else can use this style head. It's just for three plus, um, which is a bit annoying, but it'll be fine. Another reason why I chose the Oral-B range was because of their app. And I'm going to insert a video here of the kids using it because it really, really helps them to keep going and not rush doing their teeth. Now, I know I said that the buzzers <laughs> help a lot as well, which they really do. But to enjoy doing your teeth, this app has helped a lot. So each day you collect a star token and in the morning and in the afternoon you get half a star. You watch the bubbles disappear as you brush away showing a Disney picture. So Miles is going for the Star Wars range. Ella keeps mixing it up a bit. So we had Disney uh, characters like Mickey and Minnie but then also we've gone for the Star Wars stuff. So. Um, when they set up the app, you can add all their names and their details and things in like that as well. Make it really personalised for them and they're really, really cute enjoying opening their little picture. Woohoo! Bye. Show them mine. Nice work. Yeah. So I hope you liked this video and it helped you in a little bit. Um, as for my overall review, I love them. I think it's the best thing that I've bought for my children because the cheap brushes, obviously they don't last very long. The battery ones are annoying to refill all of the time. And sometimes you don't get changeable heads. So even though you're adding new batteries, you're not actually getting a new toothbrush as much as you can. So all of the details down below and I'll let you go and have a look around all of the descriptions and things like that. But I'm really happy with how they turned out and yeah, it was definitely worth it in my eyes. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and I will see you all again for the next one. Bye guys.